If you have a conventional 30 year mortgage, you are losing a ton of money. And all you have to do to be able to dramatically improve your financial future is one very simple trick. And this is what it's called. It's called a first position home equity line of credit. Let me break it down for you a little bit more about how all of this works. So if you have a conventional mortgage, what you do is, is you have your 30 year note and you're paying off every single month, you know, that one payment. Now at the very beginning of that month, you actually owe all of the interest for the next month. So it actually takes you 30 years to pay it off. What this actually means is for the first 10 to 15 years, all you're doing is paying interest. So basically what you do is you buy the bank a house first and then you get to buy your own house after that. Now there's a much better way to do this that's much smarter and it's accepted in Australia, Europe. It's actually the standard in the rest of the world. We just don't see it very commonly used here in the United States and it's called the first position HELOC. First position means it's your primary mortgage. This is the uh, financing vehicle that you would use to be able to purchase a piece of property and it gets you up to 90% of your loan to value. So if you have 10% down, this is how you can pay off your primary residence in three to seven years just by changing one thing. And it's using the first position HELOC instead of a conventional mortgage. And let me show you exactly how this works. So what you do is, is you have your home equity line of credit. And this might be at something like 6% interest. And this 30 year note over here might be at 4% interest, but this is the vehicle that's gonna allow you to pay it off within three to seven years. Because what happens is, is that you're able to then take all of the money that you would make in the world and it applies against your home equity line of credit. So now this Home equity line of credit, the principal balance is going down with every single dollar you make. Your dollars are like soldiers. They should either be using to pay down your debt or they should be going out there to be able to make an investment with it. Now with the home equity line of credit, even though the interest rate's higher, you have more money that's applied against it and you actually won't have any cash anymore. And you say, well, how in the world am I supposed to be able to run my life if I don't have any cash? Horrible things will happen to me and I won't have any way to pay it. It's not the case. With the home equity line of credit, it's actually attached to a bank account and you end up with a debit card that goes directly to your line of credit. So that means you actually have access with your bank account and debit card to the full value of your piece of real estate, your full value of your property here to be able to pull money out. So you actually have way more cash than you would ever have right now but it's not actually part of inside of your actual physical bank account. It's all just located with your home equity line of credit. So the net effect is that every dollar you have goes down to pay your principal mortgage balance. If you need to buy anything, you just use your debit card uh, to be able to do it. Anything that you would typically need to do can run out of your bank account in terms of like automatic payments. And the only thing that you have to worry about with using this type of strategy is if you're an undisciplined spender. Because if you're an undisciplined spender, you actually have access to all of the equity in your house and you can spend all of the equity of the money that you have in your house, which means that you'll never actually end up paying off your house. If you're disciplined though, what it can mean is that you're paying off your house within three to seven years and you'll be riding off to the sunset being a financial genius. By listening to these videos, looking at the Royal Legal Solutions blog, and listening to the REI Nerds podcast, I can guarantee you that you're going to know more than 99% of any of the real estate investors you're ever going to encounter. This is going to make you the smartest guy in the room. And who comes to see the smartest guy in the room? Everybody else that wants to do a deal. If you really want to create yourself to be a magnet, to attract other people, to be making great deals with, you got to have the best information. And that's what I want to give to you. Subscribe, come to our website, listen to what we have going on. I can get you there.